All right, y'all, welcome back. It is September, the most dreaded time of the year. <laughs> God, September stinks for bass fishing in the south. I guess you would call it suck timber. It sucks in September, my goodness. But here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go through why I think September sucks, um, why I think it sucks, and the ways that I skirt around it when I'm tournament fishing or just going fishing in general. You gotta keep in mind, there's a lot less humidity out, okay? It's, it's, it's sunny, the days are getting shorter, the temperature's going down, it ain't near as hot today, okay? So these fish know that. I think they go off more of a daylight time than temperature this time of year. All right, hang on one second. Let me see what that one is. 87.2, okay? Now we're out here fairly early, but it's gonna rise up another, you know, a couple degrees today. But it's, it's skirting that 90 degree mark. It was 91, 92. It's dropped three degrees. It ain't dropped much. All right, so a big deal this time of year. So I don't care where you're at, whether it's uh, the south, like we're here on the Coosa River, or you're on Tennessee River, or up north, whenever it is. Whenever this time hits, and the fishing is typically the toughest, I would say y'all comment below September is pretty much 10 out of 10 is when it sucks. What I love doing, now we're talking about catching big fish, and I can go out here and catch a lot of fish. Typically, I mean, we're probably gonna catch one here in a minute, but typically this time of year, you can get some bites, but finding those bigger fish are very hard to do. Um, I'm gonna throw it over here in this tree. There's two things that I really like doing this time of year. Number one, um, I would say I love covering water with a jerk bait. I really do. I love throwing a jerk bait, but you gotta be very specific where you're throwing this thing. Brim, like I said earlier, is a big factor. Did I say brim was a factor? All right. So brim is a very big factor, all right? You gotta keep in mind, those brim are always gonna be bank related. I mean, not very sad. I mean, they're gonna be around brush piles and whatnot too, but those brim, we just had a full moon. They're still bluegill spawning in the summertime. They always do, they're always up shallow. When I go to the boat ramp, I walk down the boat ramp and I'm looking, I see brim all up and down the boat ramp around those docks, all right? Dude, if I'm a five pound largemouth, I'm not chasing this bait out in the middle. Like you can get out here and pan around or either use electronics to try to find fish, you know, out on bait or whatever, suspended. A five pound largemouth is eating brim. That's what he does. A four and five pound spot, they're eating brim. So that's what I try to find. I love throwing a jerkbait covering water. That's your shad eating fish. Brim fish, they're still shallow. So don't overlook, like look right here. Pan right over here. See that little cedar looking pine right there? Tell me there ain't no brim in that shade right there. It's sunny all over the place. I guarantee you they brim up there. All them big heads gotta do is slide out here on this piece of wood. They slide up there in that shade and, and eat one big brim a day and they're done. So find shade, find brim, and that's what we're about to go do. So the main takeaway of this video, I would say fishing shallow, semi-shallow, but for brim eaters, in September. Dude, I can go catch a ton of fish right now. We can go catch a reel in these right here all day long. Like literally, you can reel them in all day. But to catch big ones, you gotta find brim. So let's go find brim and see what we can do. See if we can get on the bag. Shade line. They live on the shade line. Y'all, we're talking about brim. We're talking about shade. I think that one of the biggest things is shade this time of year. It's sunny. Then fish. You know. Now keep in mind, we're fishing fairly shallow. Shade is a big deal. You need to have shade because on these hot, sunny days, they're always going to relate to shade big time. I mean, even those fish on the brim, even with bait. Look, look right there. So we got shade right here, all these bait. This bait is getting pushed up. The bait wants to be in the shade too. They don't want to sit in that hot sun. So uh, another thing that's going on is a lot of those deep fish, they're starting to slide up. 
I mean, you, you see it on Tennessee River. A lot of those big schools, they bust up. They go somewhere. They go, they slide up. So that's the deal. So uh, I'd say go find, you know, shade. And whether they're eating brim or, or shad, you know, it doesn't really matter. But I got a feeling there's going to be some on the shade line. I'll tell you another thing this time of year. Well, you ain't getting much rain. So that water is gin clear with one another. The water is gin clear. Just fit it. Water is gin clear. Because, I mean, we ain't getting much rain in October. I mean, uh, we're not getting much rain in, in freaking August and September. There ain't many storms rolling in yet. Now in October, the water, weather starts cooling off and it gets rainy more. It's as clear as I've ever seen it. So. That's another one. Oh, did you see that one blow up on it? Oh my gosh. That's a small guy. A little jerk. Oh, God. Look at them. Zoom in on them. Zoom in on them. Hey, let, let's see if we can get a little top part by. Small baits. Got a little small, little plopper style bait on here. They like it coming in that shade. Look, first cast on the plop, baby. Look for it. Go, son. Stop, buddy. Stop, little bud. That's the future. That's the future. Y'all want to see the future? That's the future. Look at the teeth on that sucker, though. try to alternate a bunch of baits so these fish are schooling on the shade let's try let's go back to the soft jerk bait watch this see one run up here in a minute there's a million of them down there oh my god Look at that shad he's eating. They on that bait, baby. They on that bait. Find the shad. I mean, find find the shade. You find the bass. Look on this active target right here. Look at all the bass right there. That is insane. Look at him blowing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at him blowing. Look at him Better one, boys. That's what's up. Look at that one. Find the shade. You find about. Look how pretty. I gotta set this damn rod down there. Look at that little humpback. Like he just come out of a creek or something. Look how beautiful. That's the spot. I always look. Look at them little dots on his belly. I mean, on his. I, I realized that whenever the first spot I caught, I said, "What's these dots on his mouth?" That's a cool fish right there. He ain't real big. But... See them all? See them all right here? They're all sitting up high. I'm gonna move on down. Them look small. Find the shade, you find the bass. It ain't got to stink that bad in September. I do think that if you're gonna catch some really, really big ones, like big largemouth, you need to get around those brim. I don't care where the brim are at. They may be on a shade line. They may be underneath a tree. That's where the brim are gonna be at. Spots typically 
They eat more shad than, than, than largemouth. That's just how it goes. But you find those brim in that shade, it's game on. Like if you roll up in one of these undercut banks or one of these trees, and you find some shade with some brim around it, go catch the egg, a big old head. So you gotta think, if them spots are on shade like that, you know them big heads are eating brim like that in shade, just run around. It's middle of the day, lunchtime. We'll run and go hit some shade around some lay down trees, stuff like that. So like that tree right there? But you can run just shade everywhere. You might even pull out like a wacky rig with a, you know, with a lunker log on there or Cinco, whatever you want to do, skip it underneath there and get, catch a big largemouth. But for me, I like, I like spotted bass fishing. I can't get away from it. It's just fun. Better one. That's more like her. Boom, baby. <laughs> what a time to be alive, baby. September ain't got to stink that bad. Look at that. That's a three pounder right there. And fish are just moving up down that shade line and on that ridge. Pretty good fish. All right, y'all, let's go close it out. We caught us one good three pounder. Didn't fish long. September does not have to suck all the time. So you gotta, you gotta understand what's going on. The days are getting shorter. Bait fish are starting to migrate a little bit. They start to move up shallower. Like this is when shallow time starts back up. So top water time, find you some shade. I don't care where you're at, a daggum bridge, you, underneath these undercut banks like this tree up here. Just go run shade. If you run shade all day, you're gonna run into a few fish. Um, we're gonna keep doing this, try to catch a big large mouth, but September ain't got to suck. You ain't gonna get as many bites, but I'm telling you, it ain't long from it getting really good. So y'all stay tuned. We're gonna continue fishing this fall and uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. Welcome to September, baby. The, the good old September. The dog days of summer here in the South, it ain't fall. I promise you that, because it's still 88 degrees. So y'all stay tuned. We got a lot of fishing ahead this fall and some football coming up. Appreciate y'all. See you.